What's up YouTubers? I'm back at the Schoolmore Cemetery in Bradford. Today I'm looking for the grave of the eighth victim of Yorkshire Ripper. Her name is Helen Richter and she was murdered on the 31st of January 1978. Now at this point it was the height of the Yorkshire Ripper killings and uh, all the women and the public were generally scared of what was going on around the Yorkshire area especially around in Bradford so <clears throat> mostly the women used to travel in couples or had somebody with them when they were walking through the night or even during the day so from what I know Helen Ritka actually left Bradford for that reason and moved to Huddersfield and unfortunately that's where she got murdered by the Yorkshire Ripper and it was the usual way of the Ripper's uh, killing a hammer to the head and uh, a knife so just to let you know the reason why I'm doing these Yorkshire Ripper videos are basically uh, not to sensationalize the actual killings or sensationalize a character of uh, Peter Sutcliffe it's because I believe that the victims themselves are forgotten in a way I mean you can understand people making money out of the Yorkshire Ripper there's been books there's been documentaries and it is like a a movie script and people are tempted to make some money out of it right I can see the actual grave from here it's a very modest grave and that's what really strikes me about this you could just walk by in the cemetery and not and not even recognize or even know there's a grave of Helen Ritka the eighth victim of the Yorkshire Ripper now this is the grave itself so modest in appearance and her name is fading away Helen Ritka I want to make sure her name's not faded away so I'll get a permanent marker and rewrite a name on the on that little plaque history of Bradford for the wrong reasons Rest in peace, Helen Ritra. Right, for anyone who wants to visit Helen Ritka's grave, all you need to do is uh, drive up uh, Cemetery Road and turn right halfway up to Burke's Fold and you will see some black gates there. You can see some residential housing as well. And all you do is just walk up, probably a couple of minutes walk, and another good landmark is that little building there and the grave is just there you can't really miss it it's just a small wooden cross very modest grave once again a senseless murder 17 year old Helen taken away for no reason whatsoever thanks for watching uh, until next time peace